Good morning, students. Mr. Kirk here. We are going to continue on looking at magnetic fields. We are going to jump into chapter two, investigating potential energy. We'll start off uh, today in lesson 2.1. You'll go ahead and, and go to the warm up. And uh, the warm up here is, is fairly simple. You'll open up the magnetic fields simulation. And the goal is for you to set up two magnets so that they move directly away from each other in a straight line. And, and what we're trying to do is get a real good sense of, uh, of what the energy looks like when two magnets repel each other. So you wanna set up two magnets so that they repel or push away from each other in a straight line. Then go ahead and press run and then analyze. So you can observe the motion, but more importantly, you can look at the energy that's being displaced. And, and in the analyze feature, you can look at the uh, energy graph and uh, see the types of energy that's in the system and how it changes. And then answer these two questions, fill this sentence in. When the magnet started moving, the amount of, and then choose kinetic potential or thermal energy went down and then the amount of kinetic potential thermal energy went up. So you will use this simulation to answer that question and click hand in. Then you will move on over to um, active reading and two de key definitions. I just wanna make sure that we have a good sense here is that energy is the ability to make things move or change. And then kinetic energy is the energy that something has because it's moving. Right? This is different than potential. Hopefully you've learned this um, already. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, you're going to open up the library here. There's the potential for speed article and there's four different sports that you get to choose what you want uh, to read on. So you pick that and make three annotations. Okay, this is just three annotations in whichever article you read. Um, we can skip section three. We'll find a way to do this as a class. And then for the homework, we're gonna take you back to the Harnessing Human Energy Simulator. Uh, we haven't dealt with this since the first unit, but when you click on that, it will take you to uh, this simulator when it loads here and if you remember you like go through and pick a source of energy and what it's specifically asking you to to look for here is some examples of potential and kinetic energy i want you to create a system that uses both potential and kinetic energy then take a screenshot and upload it below here are some tips for how to do that. But um, if you scroll through, you'll see, you know, there's an example of uh, that's kinetic energy, right? Um, there's an example of potential energy and fuel. And so you'll pick your, uh, your energy source here and then you'll find, um, you know, different devices that you can drag and drop, remember? This is uh, the type of attachment here that will key in to the appropriate uh, device. And you can build it out however you want, but what I'm looking for is both kinetic and potential energy to be in your system. Then you take a screenshot and you upload it, and then just tell me uh, what part or parts uh, are potential, what part or parts are kinetic. And then you hand that in and you are good for lesson 2.1.